Good afternoon. Uh, the Secretary General and the Prime Minister will make short introductory statements and then uh, they'll be able to take two questions. Secretary General. So, uh, Prime Minister Solos, uh, you are really uh, warmly welcome here at uh, NATO headquarters uh, because it is uh, great to have you here and to be able to meet with you and to discuss uh, common challenges. And uh, Roma Romania is a highly valued uh, member of our alliance, contributing actively, actively to NATO missions in Afghanistan and in Kosovo. Uh, to Black Sea security and to our support for Moldova, Georgia and Ukraine, helping them to build uh, their own defense uh, capacities. Romania is also hosting uh, important uh, NATO assets, like the multinational uh, division uh, Southeast, which was activated uh, in December. Uh, it will strengthen the defense of our alliance. Last year, I visited uh, the NATO Force Integration Unit in Bucharest, one of the eight small uh, new headquarters we are setting up in the eastern part of our alliance. It will contribute uh, to planning exercises and help ensure NATO troops can deploy to Romania quickly if uh, needed. Romania will also host a vital part of uh, the NATO uh, missile defense system in uh, Devosulo. I commend Romania uh, for increasing your spending on defense in 2015 and for your commitment uh, to continue this increase in the years ahead. This is key for our alliance as we respond to security challenges in a changed uh, world where we all face uh, new and uh, a more uh, demanding security environment. Romania uh, does a lot to contribute uh, to a strong NATO and the strong NATO is the best guarantee for security in Europe, especially today when we face the biggest security challenges in a generation. Our alliance is responding to these challenges. We are increasing the readiness of our forces. We have stepped up our presence in the eastern part of the alliance. And NATO's presence will get stronger as we prepare for our summit in Warsaw uh, in July. We are also working closer than ever uh, with the European uh, Union. In supporting uh, the response to the migration and refugee crisis, on dealing uh, with the hybrid uh, threats and in supporting partners like Moldova, uh, Ukraine and uh, Georgia. A strong NATO is also the best foundation for dialogue with a more assertive Russia. We do not see confrontation. On the contrary, we are working to restore predictability in our relations with Russia and transparency related to military activities. There is no contradiction uh, between strong defense and dialogue with Russia. We need both, more defense and more dialogue. This is even more important when times are as difficult as they are now. So NATO is adapting uh, to uh, wide ranging and complex challenges. In this, we count on Romania and Romania can count on NATO. So welcome again, uh, Mr. Prime Minister. I look forward uh, to working with you in uh, the busy months ahead to our uh, summit in Warsaw. So welcome once again. Thank you very much. Much, Mr. Secretary General. General, together with Mr. Jan Stoltenberg, we had a very productive exchange concerning threatens to our security from the eastern and southern flank and in order to strategical adapt adaptation of NATO and cooperation between NATO and EU, uh, Romania supports entirely this cooperation. We have underlined uh, the priorities uh, Romania has from the NATO summit in Warsaw. We hope that NATO will enhance its presence on the eastern flank 
uh, from on the northeast, southeast, and eastern flanks at the same time. And here we have highlighted that that Romania wants to uh, be involved, to engaged very concretely with resources to enhance this NATO presence on the eastern flank and to to enhance this presence uh, of allied forces on the eastern flank and during the following weeks we will make some concrete proposals that will be discussed at the Warsaw summit we have stressed the importance for Romania and in general for NATO the importance of the Black Sea region where Romania wants a more active presence uh, for NATO. Romania will have the initiative in order to uh, enhance and reinforce the cooperation with, the, with our neighbors uh, and allies, Bulgaria and, Bulgaria and Turkey. And we hope that this cooperation will become multinational and we uh, will be able to count on a multinational presence of other NATO members by rotation and here Mr. Secretary-General has supported me for this approach. We have discussed, in general, for the Romania's commitment uh, to equip its army. We have uh, uh, taken this commitment to spend uh, about 2% of the GDP uh, for defense and security and this engagement was very strong and this expenditure will add to the resources that other states uh, mobilize for a more active presence uh, of NATO in the eastern part of Europe uh, like the United States have taken this uh, this commitment we have discussed NATO EU cooperation a few very uh, concrete elements, the presence of the NATO EU in the Aegean Sea in order to stop the illegal migration flow in this, uh, in this area. So we count on this more and more active presence and on an exchange of information very useful to European countries uh, in this regard. And we have approached the neighborhood policy, Eastern neighborhood policy, for Romania, this is a very important issue, uh, military cooperation with Moldova, with Bulgaria. And uh, we have stressed our commitment to support uh, Moldova in its cooperation with NATO. We have repeated our invitation addressed to Mr. Secretary General to visit again Romania, and we hope that during May, when the anti-missile defense shield in the Vesalu, um, he will be Two present. questions. Uh, we'll go to Radio Romania over there, Lady in Green. Um, I have two questions. Secretary General, first, uh, you were mentioning yesterday uh, after the meeting with Mr. Prime Minister of Turkey uh, that NATO is going, uh, has started already to be present in Aegean, uh, both in, in the both the waters, maritime waters of Turkey and Greece. How challenging is this for the South, uh, Romania being part of the South, and how challenging is this taking into account that Syria conflict, ceasefire, we see no progress yet, and you are mentioning Russia here as an assertive uh, challenge for the alliance. Domnule Prim-Ministru, uh, ați vorbit despre bugetul alocat apărării, România și-a a luat angajamentele, spuneți că vor, vor fi puse în practică dacă puteți să dezvoltați și doi, Republica Moldova rămâne o prioritate și dacă domnul secretar general al NATO v-a asigurat de o colaborare puternică știind cât de, cât de multe provocări avem în zonă din cauza Rusiei. Vă mulțumesc! First about the, the AGNC, uh, NATO decided at uh, our defense ministerial meeting uh, the 11th of February to uh, assist, to help uh, the European Union, uh, Greece, Turkey, uh, to uh, cope with uh, the migrant and refugee uh, crisis. Uh, this is uh, the biggest uh, 
migrant and refugee crisis in Europe since the end of the Second World War. And of course, when uh, uh, allies are asking for our support and when the European Union asks for our support, then uh, we do our utmost uh, to respond in a positive way. And uh, therefore, we decided uh, to deploy uh, the uh, NATO Maritime Standing Naval Group uh, to the Aegean Sea. Um, uh, and we de deployed the first ships uh, just 24 hours after we made the decision, uh, the 11th of February. But during the weekend, also during this weekend, we decided to expand and to step up uh, our support. And we uh, decided to do that in three ways. Partly by expanding the area of our uh, presence, of our activity. So uh, we are now moving into the territorial waters of Turkey and Greece. And we have uh, started to do, do that by uh, uh, yesterday. We started to do that uh, already yesterday. Uh, uh, the second thing. Uh, is that we have established much closer cooperation with the European Union border agency Frontex. And the third element uh, is that uh, uh, we are increasing the number of ships, of NATO ships, which are deployed in the Aegean uh, Sea. Uh, and I welcome uh, announcements uh, from uh, UK and France that they will uh, deploy additional ships. All of this is something we do to support uh, NATO is uh, not going to turn back the boats uh, with migrants and refugees, but we are going to do surveillance, reconnaissance, uh, monitor the situation, and then share real-time information with um, the Turkish uh, Coast Guard, with the Greek Coast Guard, with uh, Frontex, enabling them to uh, handle and to cope with the situation in the Aegean Sea. This is only one element of a more comprehensive and broad response. And uh, uh, the Prime Minister updated me uh, about the discussions in the European Union, uh, which are related to how uh, uh, the European Union can work with Turkey when it comes to the return of migrants and refugees, and then have a, uh, a more uh, uh, so legal and better organized way of uh, accepting uh, refugees coming to, uh, to Europe. So uh, we are playing our part, we are supporting the efforts, uh, NATO plays one important uh, uh, role in the more comprehensive international response to the international migrant and refugee crisis. But of course the main issue is to uh, stop uh, the war in Syria. And uh, uh, it is important to uh, support uh, the uh, agreement and the full implementation of uh, the cessation of hostility, uh, which was agreed uh, between uh, Russia, the United States, and some of the other uh, stakeholders in the region. Uh, we have seen violations of the uh, uh, ceasefire, uh, but uh, I think it's extremely important to continue to support the full implementation, because uh, cessation of hostilities uh, the ceasefire is the only possible platform for uh, renewed uh, efforts to have uh, a peaceful negotiated solution to the crisis in uh, Syria and, no, and, and, and NATO is strongly uh, uh, supporting those efforts because we need a peaceful uh, solution to the crisis in Syria. With regard to the defense budget, as you know, uh, Romania has taken this commitment, it's a political uh, commitment from the political parties and from the president of Romania, and uh, our government has committed to continue this effort in order to reach to 2% of the GDP, uh, we hope starting from the next year, and to maintain this level for the next 10 years. This These funds will be uh, use will be allowed in order to enhance the quality of life for the military professionals and to equip uh, the army because Romania wants to have an enhanced military presence on the eastern flank. Romania wants to be a proactive NATO member 
uh, we want to receive defense and protection, uh, and we want to be able to offer this protection and defense capability. And this is the way uh, we want to uh, see our membership in NATO. As you have seen, we have 1.7% from the GDP allowed to military expenses uh, compared to 1.5% uh, for the last year. Uh, in regards with the cooperation with Moldova, in our quality uh, of NATO member state, we have been assured by Mr. Secretary General that NATO wants to cooperate with the countries from the Eastern region that want uh, and demand for this uh, cooperation. And this is the case for Moldova. We want to enhance this cooperation. Not, uh, this is not an act against Russia, but Romania um, as a European Union member state and a former partner uh, of Russia wants to cooperate with uh, this neighbor, but at the same time we want to uh, be assured of our security that, as you know, for the last years our security has been uh, very shaky. So the commitments Romania has uh, in as a NATO country um, have this approach of defense and not uh, are defensive and not offensive and this is the spirit this is the state of mind in our cooperation uh, with Moldova Sergio Voiku from DG24 you have talked about concrete measures in the EGNC what's the strategy what are the measures uh, in order to enhance security in the Black Sea the Black Sea is of great importance for not only Romania, but uh, the whole of the NATO alliance. Uh, and we have seen a significant uh, Russian military buildup in the Black Sea region, especially after the illegal and illegitimate uh, annexation of uh, Crimea. Uh, we have seen that NATO, that, that uh, Russia, excuse me, uh, is deploying advanced weapon systems and that they are developing what the experts are calling anti-access and anti-access uh, area denial capabilities and uh, uh, this is part of a pattern where uh, Russia is uh, investing heavily in uh, different kinds of uh, modern defense equipment and when the, and where they are deploying them uh, close to NATO uh, borders uh, both in the Barents Sea, the Baltic Sea, the Black Sea, and now also in uh, the Eastern Mediterranean uh, with the increased Russian presence in, uh, in Syria. And therefore NATO is responding. Uh, and the way we are responding is partly by increasing our forward presence, increasing oh. our military presence in the Eastern part of the Alliance, including in Romania. Uh, and uh, I mentioned uh, this uh, 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 both the uh, new small NATO headquarters, uh, uh, the NATO force integration uh, units, but also the importance of, uh, of uh, 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 increased uh, military presence in other ways. Uh, and we are also looking into how we can increase the responsiveness, the readiness of our forces, so they're able to deploy uh, very quickly if uh, needed. And one of the issues we are discussing now as part of uh, our preparations for the uh, NATO summit in Warsaw uh, in uh, July is how we can do more, both when it comes to forward presence of multinational forces, uh, making sure that uh, we send a very clear sig signal that an attack on, on one ally will be an attack on the whole alliance, and also uh, how we can further increase the readiness of our uh, forces so they can uh, deploy uh, uh, very quickly if uh, needed. So the Black Sea uh, is part of a, uh, of a changed security environment and NATO has already responded and we will continue to adapt so we make sure that uh, NATO uh, also in the future uh, is able to respond uh, to a more challenging uh, security environment. Thank you very much. This concludes this press point. Thank you.